Hello everyone, today we are going to create uh, some more metallic watercolors. I have here the Schminka Aqua Bronze Rich Pale Gold that I wanted to create a metallic watercolor from. I also have some pearlescent white which I wanted to mix uh, with some tints like uh, Sedona, Sedona Genuine uh, with Cobalt Blue in different portions. And uh, also with Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet and maybe with Neutral Tint or Bloodstone, just a small amount of each. So we'll see. So let's start with the pearlescent white. I will mix quite a lot of it. It's very beautiful. I remind you that... Uh, you may need a mask for it, so not uh, to breathe it. So what I will do, I will put some glycerin, I will think I will put two drops, because the amount of pigment that I put in. And let's see if it opens. And uh, the gum Arabic, the Schminka gum Arabic solution. I, of course, I can mix it on my own. Um, but I prefer the um, a solution that I know that it's creamy and is great. Uh, if I will make uh, my own uh, watercolors with uh, pure pigments, not with the metallic ones, but with the... Uh, the regular pigments I will uh, create my own uh, gamma big solution I have it uh, here I use it uh, for natural cosmetics that I create if uh, you'd like I will uh, create some videos about it and uh, yeah but uh, if I make it on my own I will have uh, also to mix in some uh, uh, aromatic oils that are uh, um, anti um, microbial especially anti fungal um, but uh, it's okay it's easy so you can see it starts uh, to get uh, a bit more oil form but I think I will need uh, to put some more um, gum arabic and I'm not sure if to put some more glycerin or not we'll see in a few So I have a few idea how to play with uh, this uh, pearlescent uh, white. I have some colors that I want to mix with it. Um, I think it's very beautiful. I was uh, taking uh, some picture lately of um, three lights in near my area. There is a, a green zone, a natural zone a near the railroad a, and a, it's really beautiful. So I took some pictures, a, something like a half an hour after sunset. It's really amazing. So we have here some a, pearlescent white. I will smash it more so we'll have a good color and I will bring um, some brush and we'll play with it I have here the paper from the last time I created the metallic uh, colors so let's look yeah and as you can see it's really amazing but I think that uh, I need to smudge it uh, more. 
and maybe put a little bit more of uh, glycerin I can't put too much glycerin because it will make it too streaky but like that it's okay So what I will do, I will put a small portion on the side and we'll put very small amount of uh, cobalt blue on it. A bit more maybe. And a very uh, small amount of uh, Sedona. And I will mix them inside. I want uh, it to be a very um, light tint i need uh, to put way more so we'll put them okay i want it to be very gentle something like that The inspiration to that is um, from the pastel um, paints I've bought. One moment, I will show you them. So these, I did a video about it. And I think thought about uh, these, but pearlescent. And another one like that. And these, maybe. So I wanted to create some very uh, light um muted pearlescent um colors like twilight colors and this is how they look on uh, the paper so you can see so let's uh, put a bit on the black paper it's still very gentle and a bit on the white on the white you can see it better you can see it's a really a gentle tint One moment. and I will uh, need uh, maybe we'll show it like that I don't know if you can see it's very very muted very muted and here also and I think I need uh, some more of these colors so let's do it so I put a bit more a uh, cobalt and Sedona I think I will need some more of the pearlescent white. Because I put too much of these colors. I will put a little bit more of the Sedona. And then I think uh, we're done with this mix. So we'll put it in a half pen. I 
Of course, I can uh, mix it uh, on my palette, but I thought that it would be nice to have this uh, pre-mixed also. So yeah, it's full here and I like it. I will put a little bit more on the paper so we can see it. This paper, this, let's see it. Yeah, so now it is more tinted. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, but it's beautiful. I really, I'm really happy about it. Put some more here. It's uh, harder to see it on the black. Let's put some more on the white. I don't know if you can see because of the camera. But it's like a kind of... Um, moonstone uh, pink or moonstone uh, shell pink very vintagey i like it another mixture i wanted to create is uh, with a uh, cobalt blue and uh, ultramarine violet pv15 so it's separated a little bit we'll mix it And I will mix them together. Yeah. It's a mix that I like a lot. Put it here. And we'll put some more of this uh, pearlescent white. Okay, so the ultra green violet uh, I use here is uh, of uh, Daniel Smith. Uh, I like it uh, because it's uh, very subtle, very gentle, delicate. And I think uh, it will create really beautiful tint here. Maybe some of the violet, yeah. Let's see it over here. So we can see it well on the uh, on the black but we will see it I think on the white but I think I will uh, need uh, to put uh, some more of these colors to make it a bit stronger And yeah, now we can see it. We can see it quite well. So the reason why I have uh, ultramarine violet or this ultramarine violet um, on my, in my palette is uh, because um, I like this uh, mixture that I just uh, did. Usually don't put pearlescent white in it, uh, but yeah, and you can see that I mix it with the uh, water remained 
of uh, the Sedona Genuine and uh, the Cobalt Blue mix with the pearlescent white because I wanted uh, it to be a bit more uh, muted. So here it is full already. We'll clean the brushes and everything and come back. Next I would like uh, to play with um, uh, some Bloodstone Genuine. I love Bloodstone Genuine. As you can see I am at the end of uh, my tube but uh, I bought another one. Uh, because it's a color I cannot do without. I use it in all of my paintings. So... Not sure if to put some more a uh, pearlescent white, maybe, or to leave it as is. Let's put a bit on the black. Can't see it really well here, and a bit on the white, and you can see how beautiful it is. And I'm not sure, I'm thinking maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I will put a bit, bit more of the pearlescent white. And we'll see. Yeah, I think it's enough. We'll put it in the half pan. Yeah, and I think it's great. So another mix uh, I wanted uh, to try uh, is with uh, Queen uh, Burnt Scarlet. I don't know if you know, but Queen uh, Burnt uh, Scarlet uh, is at the end of uh, its existence, if I remember correctly. Um will be discontinued and of course I'm very sad because it's a color that I love so uh, yeah I think I will mix the rest of the pearlescent white with it I don't have enough so maybe we'll put some more pearlescent white and um, maybe some more even and some more gum arabic and maybe a bit more glycerin put too much glycerin but never mind I love uh, Queen Lapadon Burn Scarlet PAR206 and I'm really sad that it will be discontinued. I was wondering if a chemist uh, could uh, create this one for us uh, without uh, the automobile uh, uh, industry. 
because it's really a beautiful color but well I don't know it's a synthetic uh, color so I so I think it can be done so queen burnt orange will uh, be discontinued and it's really really sad let's try to take a bit more so it won't be completely full but never mind it will be okay what i like uh, about um, queen burnt scarlet is uh, that it's a reddish more a reddish uh, brown in its mask tone but it has uh, some uh, peach very beautiful peach uh, reddish peach uh, undertone which is amazing okay so let's put it what is left from it on the page don't know if you can see it no you can't so let's put a bit on the regular page in the white and see if it looks different so as you can see it's a kind of a shell pink iridescent shell pink and of course I love it maybe should have uh, put a bit more gram Arabic well I can do it in the um, in the half pan if I will be careful and then mix it So it's very beautiful so as you can see I uh, wanted to create some uh, moonstone colors that I love of course they're so so beautiful don't know if you can see now yeah you can see a little bit of this color on the black and on the white so I'll clean uh, everything and we'll continue so uh, I mixed again uh, some pearlescent white I will put in one place uh, Jane's uh, gray to create an interesting um, some kind of a uh, black uh, moonstone I think I will put quite a lot of it and we'll see so let's mix it yeah so for if you don't know Jane's gray is a color of the Daniel Smith that is a mix uh, that uh, Jane uh, Blundell artist Jane Blundell uh, created uh, it's really a beautiful mix um, she's uh, really amazing she's a uh, um, a pigment nerd and she has uh, the most amazing uh, website and she has an amazing uh, class uh, about pigments and uh, color mixing it's more about color mixing but um, the pigments she uses in this class are 
really important pigment uh, for uh, color mixing so I may need uh, some more gum Arabic Yeah, now it's better. I think I created the too, too thick uh, pearlescent white. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a bit. First we'll put it uh, on the black. can't see it very well on the black because it's a dark color and this is on the white so you can see it's very beautiful and I think uh, I'm thinking to leave it like as, as is I wanted uh, to have some uh, tints uh, for land, uh, night land, uh, landscape uh, painting. I wanted to have uh, a few tints and maybe um, so I can uh, be able um, to play more with the colors. So here's one. Put too much. And I think maybe um, of putting uh, more of the jeans gray to make it darker. I think there is not enough pearlescent white here. And you can see I did it, uh, I created the too thick uh, pearlescent white. So we'll put some more. And maybe some more, uh, maybe a bit more gum Arabic. And a bit of uh, glycerin. I don't know if I put enough Jane's Grey, I think I will need some more. I mean, it's darker than uh, the other mix, but I think it's still uh, not dark enough. So uh, Jane's Grey is a combination of uh, Daniel Smith uh, Burnt Sienna PBR7 and Ultramarine Blue PB29. So I think it's dark enough. I will uh, try it on the white paper because I don't think we'll see it well on the black. And let's compare it with the other one. I think I will need uh, to put, put a bit more Jane's Grey. It wasn't enough. So I'm, uh, I don't care to use a lot of the Jane's Grey because I usually use um, Sodalite Genuine uh, as my um, mixing, uh, as my shadow color, opens gray color. So I don't care that I won't have a lot of uh, Jane's Grey. I can use it uh, for this uh, tint, which is uh, nice. I think I may have, may need another half pan, but we'll see. So this is one. Mm. 
my uh, hands are very sticky now because uh, some gum arabic fell on on them and some glycerin fell on them and if i was uh, more meticulous i would uh, um maybe warm a little bit the um the glycerin to make it less uh, sticky but uh, i wasn't uh, thinking about it enough because uh, in creams uh, i do uh, warm it what i do i uh, like um, in natural cosmetics to put in the glycerin for a month or two a, um, a raw herb like uh, plantago it's a plantain or hibiscus or uh, even uh, dried um, green tea with jasmine and yeah it makes a really amazing uh, uh, kind of a uh, um concussion i don't know how to call it and then uh, after a month i uh, warm it a little bit in the bain marie the jar and then uh, i can use it um i can use it uh, with um I don't see it on the paper so one moment yeah it's really amazing And then uh, I can uh, put it in creams and so off, so on. So this inspiration for this color was the color of a Turner um, acryl gouache, uh, the Japanese line, the black uh, silver color. I'll try to, to clean my brush, forgot to clean it in water. So we'll see it. So I think it's a bit warmer. I'll put it over here. But uh, yeah, it's really nice color. I love it. I have another color of uh, Turner that I really love. We'll clean my brush again and show you that I would like to try uh, to create. Um, a watercolor for it it's called the uh, green gold this color again it's from uh, the japanese uh, line ah, i didn't put enough so you can see how beautiful it is and I'm thinking of creating it with uh, one of the antique colors of uh, Daniel Smith and a green. And I think uh, it will uh, work uh, really nicely. So I put uh, more uh, gum uh, Arabic. I think that if I would like to mix uh, this kind of color, a uh, neutral tint will work great. But uh, let's move on. The last mix will be with Italian uh, Deep Ochre PY43. Uh, so I'll put a bit of it. And we'll mix it. And it creates some kind of a red pearlescent gold, but I want it to, to be a gentle one. And yeah, I think it will work uh, great. I think I put enough more gum, Arabic and glycerin, so I think it's okay. So let's put a little bit on uh, the page. See how it goes. Yeah, it's really nice. 
it's different from uh, the other ones it's more uh, brown brownish uh, yellow maybe so let's put it in the half pan nah, put too much and on the wrong side one so uh, I wanted to create a palette of these uh, tints uh, with also the iridescent colors that uh, I already have I have uh, the iridescent uh, most of them of uh, Daniel Smith and uh, the gold and the silver of uh, Schminka don't have all the iridescent of Daniel Smith but uh, I have enough prefer to mix my own gold uh, with the aqua bond so I have just uh, um, from the golds of Daniel Smith I have just the Aztec uh, gold so let's look at it on the black paper don't know if you can see something it has a bit of a golden uh, tint to it so uh, I will mix uh, the other metallics with the aqua bronze in another video this video is way way too long so have a wonderful time and happy painting bye